Aloha, this is Wyatt with MicroLab Solutions, and this is a video for the students in Hawaii who are receiving our Science Fair Project Kits. Our Science Fair Kits will include everything you need to start your own Science Fair Project. For our students in Hawaii, the kit will include cultures of a blue oyster mushroom that are being trained to digest cellulose from cigarette butts. So your kits will include most everything you will need to start your project. For this specific kit, uh, let's go over some of the items that will be included. First off, we have five uh, extra large mushroom bags. These are autoclavable and they have a filter patch sewn in. They're good for making spawn and you can also use them for um, making substrate and uh, actually growing uh, mushroom blocks. The next thing we have here are five um, test tubes. Uh, these can be used for master slants or to do other experiments in. Next I've included a couple sterile pipettes in case you'd like to try to do some liquid cultures. Also included for the liquid cultures is a sterile uh, 250 milliliter um, flask that has a filter patch, a micron filter patch on the top. These are great when you're doing liquid cultures because you will not need to sterilize anything. This is already sterilized and you can transfer your culture right into this flask and uh, it should be sterile. Next thing we have are a number of uh, clean petri dishes that do not have any transfers made on them. They are, I've included two or three M DA, malt dextrose agar, and three PDA of a potato dextrose agar I made from scratch where I boiled potatoes. The next thing we have are your actual cultures. For this kit, I've included three different blue oyster cultures on the three or two mediums that I described here, plus I've included one on a potato dextrose agar mix that I got from Seaweed Solutions online. Along with those pure cultures, we've also had some cultures that are starting to um, digest just pure, clean cigarette butts. You can see here um, I've placed clean cigarette butts, I've wiped them down with alcohol and placed them on the petri dish uh, where the mycelium is growing. I've done this on a PDA that I made from scratch, an MDA, malt dextrose agar, and you can see the mycelium is already growing onto the cigarette butts. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'll do a closer up in a little bit here. And then on the PDA mix that I have. So you guys will have a little bit start on your project and then uh, you'll be doing this process yourself in the future. I've also included in this kit a couple different kind of other uh, mushrooms that I had um, in the fridge. So I've included a Namiko, a Velvet Papini, a Trumpet Royale, which is another oyster mushroom for the uh, king, and a brown clamshell. So these I just wanted you guys to uh, play around with, see if you can train them to digest uh, you know, other plastics or uh, the cigarette butts and just see how they do. Maybe you'll find uh, something out that one of those work really well. I would encourage you to try uh, various different fungi and uh, see what works best and uh, go from there. So some other things, I've also included uh, like five pounds of uh, blue oyster spawn. This is growing on an organic rye berry. So this will get you, allow you to jump right into it. You'll have some spawn. You can make your clean boxes and do uh, spawn to spawn transfers. And uh, yeah, you'll be right ahead of the game. So for your clean Petri dishes, which are already wrapped in a parafilm so they will stay sterile. I've also included a length of uh, parafilm for you when you uh, do other transfers. So you'll definitely want to get some of this for your project. You can get it on eBay and uh, in my email or later in the notes I'll uh, give links to the 
best sites that I've found to be able to purchase this stuff for the cheapest. Um, I've done a lot of research on where to get these materials for really cheap. And I probably will have some of them available for purchase later on um, through my website or on eBay or on Etsy. So some other things I've included are some gloves just to get you started right off the bat when you get your kit. Uh, we've got some face masks, masks here. These are just, uh, you know, so you don't breathe any um, contaminants into your cultures. You're not trying to prevent yourself from inhaling them, but you exhaling um, I've also included a copy of the Radical Mycology Zine and also their Mushroom Cultivation for Remediation. I really suggest going to the Radical Mycology website. They are a wealth of information. You can find great links there. I have them on my page. But they give out these free zines. You can download them and print them out. I print them out and I give them away to people um, you know, that are interested in mycology at fairs and uh, when I have booths. And they are a perfect introduction for you to learn just a lot of stuff about mycology and mushrooms that you didn't really know. And uh, they'll get you started right off to jump right in and... Um, create your project, uh, find new projects, and uh, get ideas. They're really great. And this uh, mushroom cultivation for remediation, uh, you know, is a great jumping point to get into projects for bioremediation and um, uh, just a wealth of information um, you can go from here. So I've also printed out a media list. Now, uh, this is just a recipe book of different um, mediums you can make um, to cultivate your uh, mycelium on. So I, uh, you know, I, I used some of these at various times, but um, once you kind of learn what works, you go with it. But, you know, uh, when you have a difficult mushroom that's not growing on your normal mediums, uh, you might be able to find something in here that might uh, give it what it needs to uh, flourish. Then we've also included some of our swag. We have our Jewels of the Forest. Uh, this is a sticker or a magnet that we made. Um, this is our label for our mushroom kits and uh, for our upcoming mushroom products. So uh, there's just a magnet. Let's see, what else do we have here? Uh, we'll include a little bit more instructions and some other items, uh, some information, and we'll always include those in our links and in our uh, on our website. So. Uh, give us time and we'll update that and uh, you should be able to create create a great project for your science fair. Something that you can do for over a number of years and be able to expand and uh, just grow your project. Uh, there's so many neat things going on with mycology and mushrooms right now and we love to help uh, anyone that's interested figure out their project or help design a project or just as a mentor or be able to bounce ideas off of. So if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me, Wyatt Bryson at mycolabsolutions.com. Our email is fungi at mycolabsolutions.com. And you can find us on YouTube, Facebook, all social media. Um, and it really helps when you guys uh, give our name out and spread the word and show what we're trying to do. We are a new business and we're really trying to uh, get off the ground here and we need your support. Uh, there's a lot of stuff going on in life right now as usual for most people and uh, it's exciting times and we really hope to uh, hear your feedback and to uh, get your support. So thank you all and uh, we, we hope we can help in any way. Aloha.